life. They don't have visitors coming to see them every day. Unfortunately for the last year, they've not actually been able to have cuddles from people due to restrictions. Um, so as staff, we've had to try and keep them friendly as they get quite unused to being handled. Um, so hopefully one day soon, we'll be able to go back to doing rabbit handling. So we want our bunnies to still be nice and friendly. Um, but when we close, they move out of their black boxes on the most part, and they come into these much bigger pens where the goats normally live. So they've got an awful lot more space to hop around. Makes them a bit easier to look after as well because they've got plumbed in water so we don't have to keep redoing their water every day. So we can feed them once a day um, and then leave them to it with lots of hay. So we'll do them some hay in a minute. Um, and they live in groups. And we did have them in one set group but we actually find out they're jumping between and they've made their own new friendship groups which is rather nice. Um, so we've got Daisy here and she's in with the Netherland Dwarves. And then they've got their little houses. Netherland Dwarves. And Hans are Dutch. So lockdown life is rather nice for the bunnies, but as I say, the key bit is making sure that we still keep coming in and seeing them, which we're more on a skeleton staff with just a few people, is a challenge. They take an awful lot of work, the bunnies, a lot of food and water every day. Um, and the key bit, as I say, trying to maintain our bunnies friendly. So when we are able to all come back in and do rabbit handling when we're open, um, these guys are still friendly and not frightened of us. So a big part of looking after the rabbits, which we do right through the year, is we do regular health checks. So every day we check them, and if anyone's not looking right, then we'll go and pick them up and check them over. But also, every week or so, we'll pick up every bunny and just give it a hands-on check over. And we do that through lockdown, through closed periods, but we also do it when we're open. So you might have seen us doing it during the day. Um, we tend to do it out here in the Discovery Barn, um, trim their nails, and just have a good look over every rabbit. So I'll show you what we do. We'll start with Pongo. Scoop him up so he's still nice and friendly, and I'll walk him over to the bench and we'll have a good look at him. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just to have a good feeling of him, making sure his body condition's all right. Some of our rabbits have got a bit plump recently, Pongo's not too bad. Um, rabbits can lose weight really quickly um, through a variety of issues, um, a big one being their teeth. Um, so have a feel over. We're also feeling for any scabs, any cuts. Especially now where they're able to jump between pens and meet with each other and we may get a few scraps. We're doing alright actually though. Um, we'll look inside his ears. So making sure they're nice and clean. Nice just pale pink colour, not red. No signs of inflammation, no signs of mites infection. Then his eyes again. Rabbits can have issues with their eyes so we want to sure they're not red, they're not weepy. He's not looking too bad. There's a slight mark there, but it looks okay. We'll keep an eye on that. So we can pop that in a note to um, keep an eye on. And then we turn him onto his bottom, and we should try and have a look at his teeth. Now, looking at their back teeth is nearly impossible. We can look at his front teeth. So they're looking okay. Now, rabbit's teeth are constantly growing, so a big problem with pet rabbits is their teeth causing them issues. They need um, hard things to chew on to wear them down. If not, um, they can grow out of shape and they can grow and actually cut down into their jaws, um, cause them an awful lot of pain. So we'll keep an eye on for that. And then, as I say, we can't actually look at his back teeth, but we can, he doesn't like it very much, we can rub the side of his face and we're feeling for any lumps or bumps, which would be a sign of a sort of a tooth abscess from big teeth cutting into his cheek. He feels good. Uh, and then we go and look round his delicate gentleman parts. So Pongo is a castrate, so he's castrated as a young rabbit, hence he can live with our females. Um, the best combination for keeping rabbits together is to have a castrated male and a castrated female. Um, if you have two females together who aren't castrated, or two males that aren't castrated, they're likely to fight. Um, you can keep sort of neutered if each the same sex together, um, but the ideal pair is a castrated male and a castrated female. So Pongo, we'll now look at his toenails, so also continuously growing, just like their teeth. Um, and we can trim their toenails, so we do this sort of once monthly, or when it needs doing. So Pongo's got uh, clear nails, or pink nails, which are much easier to do, because he's got white feet. So we can see the red blood vessel that runs up in between, um, and then at the top we've got the white quick. So we just take off the very tip, the clear bit, um, as I say, it's nice and easy, because he's got white toes, we can see the blood vessels. A little trickier on a black rabbit, the black toes, or a dark rabbit. So on this foot you can see he's got a red bit that runs up the middle of his claw. That's actually the blood vessel, so we definitely don't want to cut that. And at the very top is the clear bit. And so his toenails aren't too long, but we can just take the very tip off that bit. So if you have a pet rabbit at home, you can do this yourself. Or if you're not confident, um, your vets will do that too. So you can take them to the vets and they'll do their toenails. 
Now with a bunny, if you put them on their back like this, they're semi-paralysed, which is a bit unfair, so you don't want to maintain them in this position forever because they can't actually jump back up. But when doing procedures like trimming their toenails, it keeps them nice and calm and makes it a little bit more simple. Um, Pongo's a pretty quiet boy, so it's much easier than him. Um, he's probably the oldest rabbit we have here on the farm, so he was born in 2013. So he's just coming up eight this year, which is a good age for a bunny. Um, he's been brilliant for animal handling right through his life. Um, a real favourite with visitors, so we, um, we often get people in, emailing in, asking after him, especially through lockdowns when people can't come and see him. All right, you're all done. You can go back. Next up is Janet. Um, so having a feel across her, uh, Janet is overweight. We know that her food's been cut down. She's lost a bit of weight over the last couple of weeks, which is good. Um, but she is still a bit podgy. We're finding that with all our exes, actually. Um, that during the November lockdown they put on an awful lot of weight. The Rex is in particular on a diet, but she has lost a little bit. So again, we'll check her ears. Which look good, nice and clean. Check her eyes. Again, all nice and clear. The other side. And rub down her jawline, feeling for any lumps and bumps, which there's not. And then I'll just pop her on her bottom to look at her teeth. So her teeth look it nice and clean, they're not cutting into her gums, which is great. And again, her nose is also nice and clean, so no sign of respiratory problems. Right, now down to your lady parts, I'm afraid, Janet. Okay, sit on your bottom. So again, she's all clean, which is fantastic. We don't want any build up of poo. Um, that's great, she's looking nice and clean, nice and healthy, which is fantastic. Um, with Janet, she has dark nails, which makes it an awful lot harder to trim. Um, so we'll just take the very tips off. Um, so I'd much prefer doing rabbits with clear nails. But... So I hope through this episode we've given you some hints and tips about things you can do with your own rabbit. Or if you're thinking about getting some rabbits, you can see just how much work does go into them. They're very social animals, they like to live in groups, and they do take an awful lot of care. So if you've got any questions about any of the animals here on the farm, I know the rabbits are a real favourite, particularly with the children who get their favourites. So if you've got a favourite rabbit and you want to ask any questions about it, or there's one you want to specifically see how it's getting on, do ask in the comments and we'll make sure to cover that in a future episode. So remember to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you again next week.